so today we are going to be speaking about Otzi or Otzi if you prefer the Iceman and the curse associated with him. So I'm going to call him Otzi because I just find it easier. Um, so Otzi was discovered September 19th in 1991. He was discovered in the Alps on the Italian and Austrian border. So German tourists Helmut and Erika Simon actually found him while they were hiking up in the Alps. He likely died between 3105 and 3239 BCE. Uh, weather conditions unfortunately prevented him from being excavated for four days after he'd been discovered. So this led to a battle between Austria and Italy once he had been excavated as to who had custody of his remains. So there was question as to whether Otzi was murdered. Um, they thought they saw blunt force trauma on his uh, remains, on his head. And there was question as to whether maybe an arrow had punctured an artery. Raina Hen, she put his body in a body bag. So in 1992, Raina was travelling to a speech about Otzi, was travelling to give a speech about him, and unfortunately she died in a fatal car accident. Kurt Fritz, he organised the transport of Otzi's remains, and in 1993 he died at age 52 from an avalanche. Now this doesn't sound too unusual because it's the Alps, however, he was an experienced tour guide, so he had extra training on how to deal with avalanches and what to do in that situation. So it's a bit unusual that he died that way, but also what's really strange is that he was the only one who died. Nobody else died in the avalanche. So Helmut Simon, the man who actually discovered Otzi, he went missing in the Alps in 2004. So he was found eight days later and he had fallen 300 feet to his death. So when Helmut was missing, Dieter Varneck had led the search party. So hours after Helmut had his funeral, Dieter actually had a heart attack and died. Conrad Spindler joked about the curse in an interview. He said, next thing you know, you'll be saying that I'm next. And indeed, he was next. He died from MS complications. Rainer Holtz uh, was the only person allowed to film all of this. Uh, they turned it into a hour long documentary. Um, however, after they finished editing and putting the documentary together, so it was complete, they shortly died afterwards from a brain tumour. So Tom Loy, he discovered Otzi's clothing, which had blood on it, which is how they discovered that maybe he died from an arrow to an artery. And ironically, he actually died from a blood disorder, which had gone undiagnosed for most of his life. So, yeah, this is all pretty strange. So that's it for today, guys. But let me know down in the comments if um, you think it's a bunch of coincidences or if it is a curse. I mean, it's pretty strange that it's such a cluster. Let me know down in the comments and give me a thumbs up if you liked it and you want to see more curses and I will see you next time.